people welcome back to my channel it's the second time i record this video and hopefully it goes better than the first so i want to wish everyone a happy new year today is january 1st 2020 whoa <laughs> uh six days from my birthday it's not including today that'll be five right um i'll be 21 january 6th this monday Woo, so excited so today i bring you guys my drugstore favorites from 2019 and overall in general my favorites and some new some old some classics so I'm gonna show you guys in the order I do my face so I always do eyebrows first so I'm gonna show you my uh, eyebrow pomade this is from AOA studio wander brow a few guys heard of shop miss a this is where it's from this is a dollar it's a little smaller but um it's a dollar so this is it what I'm using from as a pomade right now I have a blank face I have nothing on my face this is my natural face and this is the shade medium brown and again I got this for a dollar on shop Miss a website um, next thing I do is eyes I prime my eyes usually with concealer or if I'm doing a dramatic look I'll use my NYX eyeshadow base well, not dramatic but like a vibrant look you know I use my eyeshadow base in white and it's white so blend it in very well and you can use blues greens purples pinks with this it'll pop out a lot better so I love this. Next, um, when I usually do a like a on the go look, eyeshadow look, I use my Casey Holmes palette. I love this because it has everything I need in one. It has face, eyes, lip, and perfume. Oh, it smells so good though. Anyway, so when I'm on the go and in a hurry, I'll use this bronzer shade and this as my this bronzer shade in my crease and this on my lid to have a natural, you know, beautiful look. I have, I have yet to touch these. I feel like they're a little too out there for me, if you will. So, yeah. Um, personally, I don't use this as highlight anymore now that I've tried it. It's, like, really glittery. And if you guys like glitter, go for it. But I don't. So, I'm going to pass on that. I mean, if I'm going out on a night out or date night or something dramatic, then I'll wear the highlighter. Otherwise, I won't. So, again, quick eyes. Bronzer. This color. Or that um, other times I like to use this this is my color tattoo this is pretty old it's been there around a while it's a color tattoo by I studio 24 hour this is a shade 25 bad to the bronze this is what it looks like so it's actually like a cream it's pretty old so it's kind of nasty sorry but it's like really cool you just rub it in you can use your finger or you can use a brush and then there you go pigment and color boom just like that so I use something like this and um, use that same bronzer I showed you and put it around the crease and that's so easy quick and easy or I tend to use my um, my high-end uh, eyeshadow palettes to use black or darker brown but because this is a drugstore version of my video I am only showing you my drugstore options so now that my eyes are done I'll start my face so I usually go in with my Hydro Boost. This is a repurchase because I love it so much. Caught it. This is the Nitrogena, Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel. Hyaluronic Acid. This is quite pricey, but it lasts a long time. And I have really dry skin, like bad as you can tell. So I use this, and then I'll go next in with my, once that sinks in, let it sink in. I use my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Water Drop Primer. This is amazing. I've had this for maybe a month, and I've used it two or three times. Amazing. I love it. It's so cool. And it's, I have cucumber, and it's like literally green. And it smells so good. Like, I can't even smell it. I can't even smell it. I can't even tell you. It's like almost like a sweet smell. So it's cream to water, like it says. So you have cream here, and then you blend it in. And then it turns into a watery base, which is amazing. I love it. So you also let that sink in. So if you want, you can do these steps prior to your eyes. That way that taste taken care of. So when that sinks in, you have your base done. Foundation, I would go in, I do go in with the Believe Beauty Foundation. Uh, skin Finish Foundation, medium to full coverage. If you guys don't know or haven't seen my channel, most of you have you will know I'm obsessed with this but I talk about it both on Instagram and here I'll link my Instagram right here I have two by the way I have my main account and my backup account so you should follow both so yeah I've used the Believe Beauty in the shade soft beige can you guys see that yeah soft beige comes with a pump from it's from Dollar General it's five bucks 
so get your hands on this it's amazing coverage wise it does cover I like to do two layers um, it's a satin finish so it's not gonna give you matte but it's not gonna make you look like you're glowing and dewy either so it's just right in between perfect for my skin tone because I have skin tone tone skin texture because I have dry skin okay so next once my foundation is ready to go I use concealer ready to go ready on the one I usually pick up that is drugstore is a fit me from Maybelline in the shade 10 has the wand this is a classic so I use this um, to set everything in place mm, where'd it go okay I just had you there it is. sorry to set everything in place this is my holy grail um, Daisy Merck has mentioned it shout out to her this is the Milani translucent light to medium powder absorbs oil mattifies so I like to use this to set my whole face. Keep in mind, I don't have bronzer on yet. So I will use this, and then I will have everything, you know, dried, dried, powdered down. And I will take this palette again and use the bronzer to bronze my cheeks. After that, I always like to do highlight before blush because I feel like blush is going to, like, make it go away. Or, like, I feel like it's going to be too much highlight going on. So, for drugstore, I have two options. This one I recently picked up. I swatched it on my hand, and I was like, eh, I don't know what the hype is. It's not there. What's going on? And, by the way, this is Be My Highlight, number 10. This is from Essence. You can pick this up at Ulta. It's 5 bucks. Um, again, so I swatched it, and I was disappointed. Once I put it on my face, I was shocked. So, it's pretty amazing. So, this is awesome. And then the second option I have is from the Wayne Wild um, website. I actually picked this up for 40%, 40, 50% off. So I paid only 5 bucks or something like that. So this has all four um, highlights. The one I've used um, is Golden Flower Crown. That's what I use normally. But recently, or not that long ago, I, I usually like will use dip into all of them. But yeah, so those are my two highlights. My blush that I cannot get enough of, and I really want to tell you, is the Wet n Wild Color Icon and the shade Mellow Wine. It's such a beautiful, like, mauve tone. Like, look at that. It's beautiful. And it's, like, $3. And it lasts a long time. Like, seriously, like, I can't, you know, fit, get enough. So, base to bake, I like to use my air spud. This is naturally translucent. This is what it looks like. Can you? So... Setting my setting my foundation, baking. So that's that. Okay, so that's pretty much my face is done now. Back to my eyebrows. So now that my face is done, I'm gonna use my brow mascara. This is the NYX. This is the NYX tinted brow mascara. Um, I don't know. Someone mentioned it and I picked it up, but this was a while ago. So it just looks like that. I have the shade Espresso. Yeah, Espresso. So that just sets my brows in place. And then for my mascara, I, I just yesterday got eyelash extensions, if you noticed. Aren't they amazing? I actually got them for my birthday, so yeah. First time for everything. Okay, so I can't use mascara right now, but the one I've been using and I absolutely love is from Essence. Get Big Lashes Volume Boost Waterproof. This is what it looks like. And it's beautiful. It's like $4, guys. And this is what the wand looks like. This is the wand and it is waterproof so keep in mind when you're taking it off so I recommend using this um, this is the Garnier skin active micellar cleansing water this is like my second or third bottle that I picked up because I read out you know I've used it so I really ha recommend the blue one the pink one I haven't tried but I went straight to blue because this is waterproof the other one doesn't claim to be waterproof so use this with this you'll thank me later so, lips now, we are going to use, I like nudes, I like nudes, I like glossy lips, or reds, but my reds are not drugstore, so these are drugstore options. So, uh, what's her name? I'll leave her linked right here. Juicy Jazz mentioned that she really likes the Alley Girl Ultimate Lip Liner. This is the shade, keep it spicy. So this is like a, a nude shade what it looks like I love it and especially paired with this right here this is vivid hot like luck here 
like I can't say that you guys know what I'm talking about this is from Maybelline not many people talk about these this is a shade 64 unreal funny story how I actually picked this up I had a coupon that if you spend 10 on uh, Maybelline you get like five dollars off so it's like well what am I gonna buy what do I get so I ended up just picking up this because I was in a hurry and I was like oh, I need something I'm so glad I did because I'm like love it like it's amazing like look at that it's literally like a gloss with a color it's beautiful and it actually does dry down it takes a little while like a normal lip gloss it's wet for a while but once it dries it dries like a pretty color just like ah just like that lip so yeah that is my favorite lip if you want a nude lip gloss like not nude that is nude lip gloss if you want a clear lip gloss go get yourself the essence shine 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 wet lip gloss this literally makes your lips look wet like let me put it on for you guys to know what i'm t to understand what i'm saying and don't get me wrong this smells good too okay. so i just put this on that was not me that was the chair so i just put it on real quick just to show you guys what it looks like like it looks like a thicker lip gloss and looks amazing it looks good it looks yummy go get it and it's like three bucks for at ulta so um eyeliner really quick my eyeliner my go-to eyeliner that is drugstore is the maybelline precise master precise all day i picked this up once to try it again i actually picked i think i picked these up together because i wanted to i needed to spend so this is really thin just like look at that oh not a good example but okay that's not doing so good I have a feeling it's because of the uh, primer underneath let's try taking it over here there we go yeah well the point is you get it it's really good maybe not the swatches but it's a good product I highly recommend it go and pick it up um does it have the shade black it just says black um but it does stay all day just letting you know it does work um, these are my drugstore options, but if you would like an alternate, like a high end, I would go with the Kat Von D liner. It's so bomb. So these are my drugstore options. I hope you enjoyed them. Um, if you did, please like this video. Just comment down below any questions, comments you may have. And if you are new, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications so you know when I'm posting. Thank you all so much for the love. I'm so excited for a new year and more videos to come. I promised myself that I'm going to be more active on YouTube. So here I am, January 1st, making videos. <laughs> yes, if you don't know my schedule, I upload every Wednesday, usually before 7. I say 7 p.m., but it's usually like 7 or before, no later. So this hopefully will be up tonight. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching. Um, keep in mind, I do plan to make a vlog this weekend sometime and have it up probably Tuesday, Monday or Tuesday, showing you guys my birthday freebies. If you guys would be interested, like this video so I know you know what I'm talking about. So yeah, um, next video coming will probably be birthday freebies. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!